Hi there, Becky here from 168 Fitness. Uh, this week I have been thinking about food a little bit more than usual and that's quite something because food is often on my mind. Um, but that's because I'm actually setting up a new business called 168 Energy and that will be uh, launching sometime within the next few months in Loughborough. So stay tuned for more information. Um, but I've been thinking about the menu that we're going to offer and I've been trialing some recipes and getting feedback from my um, clients as well. Um, so because I've been thinking about food, I wanted to share some of those thoughts with you and some of the ideas I have about um, eating healthily and, um, and also thinking about food as energy hence the name 168 Energy. Food should be eaten and consumed for no other reason than it giving us the energy to, to go about our day uh, and to be able to do what we need to do, performing in exercise or just day-to-day -day activity. Um, unfortunately, that often isn't the case for a lot of people, that we are eating because we're happy, eating because we're sad, eating because we're stressed, eating because um, it's a social um, thing to do, there's so many reasons why we're eating other than um, for just energy and I'm not saying they're all bad things because actually that's just the way we live our lives and that's nice that we can um, use it as family time or friends time or enjoying our food is obviously really important but the thing that I um, have been thinking about a lot is how I can keep it simple um, with the menu that we're going to offer but also keep it um, nutritious um, so you're getting lots of goodness from your food it's providing you with the energy you need and uh, still tastes really good um, so some of the thoughts that I have when I'm making my own choices with food and advising clients and also um, what I would like to offer at 168 Energy um, and some of those thoughts that I've had are uh, that I like to choose simple um, natural foods as much as possible things like um, for example, my breakfast is oats with um, mixed berries and um, I do have some yoghurt, um, could be swapped for natural uh, low-fat yoghurt and then that would, would be a sort of natural um, natural food as well, uh, that uh, single ingredient as well, nothing, no sugar added or anything like that. At the moment I do have a yoghurt that has got um, sugar added and extra bits and bobs in there, but it's generally not bad for me it's just that I know I could improve with that so that's one of the things maybe I would look to improve on for health and for goodness purposes um calorie wise probably not much in it between that and um a low fat natural yogurt but if you are looking for goodness and um, trying to get the best from your food and keeping it simple so that your body performs better, is more efficient with the energy you provide it, um, then, then making um, choices where you are eating simple, one uh, single ingredient foods like oats, like berries, literally just the oats that I eat is just oats, there's nothing added to it. The berries that I eat are just berries, there's no added anything to it. Um, then, then they're sort of choices, that, that's a positive choice to make, um, keep it really simple, natural. So like, for example, my lunch as well is uh, sweet potato often um, with some cottage cheese. Now the cottage cheese I think has some salt added perhaps, um, but it's pretty much just the um, kind of processed cottage cottage cheese. So it doesn't come from the, the ground as such, but um, or from the earth like that, but um, it is made with just the... Um, the dairy uh, to make the cottage cheese so um, yeah that's kind of a healthy meal as well and then my dinner will often be sort of salad salmon or chicken or um, some kind of protein with that and again that's the majority of that is healthy nutritious um, colourful food as well. I think um, you'd probably be able to tell from those three meals that I've talked about. We've got sort of bright red colours in the berries, um, we've got sort of bright orange with the sweet potato and then we've got sort of greens in the evening um, with the salad as well and maybe some reds or um, purples or whatever. Um, and, and that's the next point that I was going to say. So simple, nutritious, 
um, natural goodness and then colourful goodness is really good as well. So getting a, a variety of um, different coloured foods and obviously natural, um, naturally coloured foods. So not artificial colours or any extra added flavours or anything like that. Just natural, uh, nutritious food that just looks good as well because part of um, taste and um, enjoying a meal is how it looks so if you can get a really if your plate is, is nicely colour, colourful and um, looks good then you're probably going to enjoy it a lot more than if it just kind of looks a bit boring or not presented in a nice way so that's really important as well um, and then just a, a bit similar to the first point it's just keep, keeping it simple um, with in terms of like extra um, dressings or sauces. Um, if you have um, some extra olive oil on, if you like tablespoon, drizzle a, a tablespoon of olive oil, that's probably going to add about, I don't know, 130 to 140 calories, um, but is really good for you. Um, healthy, natural, nutritious um, dressing for you there. Gives you an extra bit of flavor, keeps it nice and moist and just gives an extra dimension to a salad perhaps or like rice or something like that um but isn't going to hopefully it would enhance the flavor like with seasoning it should enhance the flavor of the food rather than overpowering it um and that's what i try and encourage what the things that i've been sort of developing with the the um, salads and the meals I'm going to offer at 168 Energies is not overdoing it with um, the dressings and the sauces and using just natural foods and ingredients to um, provide that flavour, provide that taste because I mean there's nothing wrong with a, a little bit of dressing but what you don't want to do is be eating chicken or salmon um, but not being able to taste the chicken or salmon, just the dressing or just the sauce that it comes with. Like steak, for example, if you have a steak and you drizzle the, um, or it comes with the sauce already poured on, you're pretty much eating that steak potentially because you like the sauce rather than because the steak tastes nice. And I always think a good quality steak or any good quality meat doesn't really need um, an extra sauce or anything on top of it because it's going to overpower it. Now, if they get it just right, a little bit of dressing or a little bit of sauce or, or whatever you, the accompaniment is for it um, should enhance the flavour and and just um, provide just add that extra taste to it. Um, but I've gone a little bit off track. But basically, what I was getting at is that healthy, nutritious, simple food, but doesn't have to be boring um, and does uh, still taste nice. Nice and and getting on board with that our bodies prefer natural, healthy, nutritious, colourful food um, rather than any processed rubbish, artificial flavours, colourings, e-numbers, whatever. Um, our bodies run best on um, that healthy, nutritious goodness, natural goodness um, that nature provides with uh, provides us with. Um, so hopefully that gives you something to think about, food for thought as such. Um, I will be uh, in touch soon about uh, my 168 energy plans. Uh, stay tuned for that. But I'll be back next week with some more top tips as well. Have a good week.